Bear patches in an otherwise full, healthy line may be the results of animals urinating on it, heavy foot traffic, grubs, or other insects. You know, there's all types of insects out there. There's several ways to like effectively patch these areas, but you also need to consider the cause of those bear spots first before you correct them. For example, if the bear spots are caused by grub, new bear patches will crop up as soon as you repair the old ones, unless you address the grubs. So personally, I feel the easiest and most effective and successful way to restoring bear patches in your lawn is receding early in the fall. Okay, folks, I'm going to show you how I prepare bear spots. First, you just take some topsoil. I built this screen. You can see my video of the screen that I built. We'll have a lot of stuff in it that you don't want to go on. What I do is I mix it first. A lot of this that you see here now is rocks. There you go. All of that is in there. Let's dump this. See that? That's a lot better on the ground. You know, I get another wheelbarrow out. I take some peat moss and I put it through this same screen and it removes a lot of the sticks and debris. And then you get a nice little bit powdery substance. I'll use this and I'll put it on top of the grass seeds. You know, peat moss helps the grass seeds stay in place. It keeps them moist. So that's why I did that. Once I put the grass seed down, I like to add a little topsoil to it. I put topsoil over the grass seed um, before I take my weasel and, you know, till it in a little bit. I think this is one of the most important steps to putting uh, grass seeds down in bare spots. You take the weasel, your little garden weasel or a rake or whatever you have. I got this garden weasel from Home Depot or somewhere. And uh, you just lightly till in the grass seed. You know, you're not trying to push it down four, five, six inches in the ground. You're just lightly covering it up and tilling it in with some of that fresh topsoil and the topsoil that was already there to begin with. The next step that I do, which I like to do, is I'll do another light coating of grass seed in certain spots that I may have missed. You know, just to make sure, uh, because we're gonna have heavy rains coming up. So I push the first set of grass seed down in there. This is the peat moss that I strained. Um, I took all of the big, like sticks and rocks and stuff out of it. And I'm just putting a light coating right over top of the grass seed. I'll till it up. I'll put in a little grass seed. I'll till it back in again. A little topsoil over top. Put my peat moss down. As you can see, in late September, about a few weeks, a couple weeks later, a few weeks later, how full that those grass areas are right there. Um, along the walkway area where you see me putting in the peat moss, if you look at that area, you'll see how full it's gotten. The birds, uh, especially robins, those red-breasted robins, they are relentless for going not after your seed, but what they do is they find the bare spots and they land on it. And it's like they can feel in the ground the uh, earthworms underneath. And then they tear up your bare spots where you patched your seeds, trying to get to the earthworms or crickets or whatever you have under there.
This is a top view. Shows you how I did on the side yard. So you can see that the lawn is full, thick, and healthy. Um, the bare spots are all filled in. I put the camera down low so you can see as I'm mowing it. I mean, it's just so thick and lush. Um, and it's all because, you know, I just follow a few steps of filling in those bare spots. And the reason why I have some of those bare spots are mainly uh, there's some grub action there. Uh, not too far away across the street behind the woods there, there's a golf course. And golf courses generally have a lot of bent grass. And I believe it spreads throughout our neighborhood, whether it's birds or whatever. But uh, so I just burn it out. 